Hey guys, since the leak of Glock putting out an AR-15 started years ago, everyone has been enamored with this in one way or the other. Either you think it's stupid or you think it's the greatest thing that may be on the way. Well, we've actually got the first pictures of this now. Uh, I got these from my friend John Crump over at John Crump News. Please like, subscribe to his channel. John was the first place that I saw this stateside who got this information. John got it from a British military guy named Sean Odinson. That's who uh, John credits. But again, I got this from John Crump. Please go check him out. As you'll see, this looks like an AR-15 with a Glock logo on it. What I don't understand about this carbine, and I'm not opposed to it at all, is why. It doesn't look like there's anything changed. I don't know if they did something with the gas system. If you can peek inside the handguard, it doesn't appear to be anything different. Um, I don't see anything crazy different about it. In fact, it's kind of unusual to me that they're using all Magpul furniture because that is what it appears that it is. Um, I almost thought that maybe Glock was going to do some aftermarket type stuff, add-ons or whichever, because nothing that I see in these pictures looks new. It does not look perfected in any kind of way, if you will. But nevertheless, this is it. This is the first glimpse at it. Again, uh, I want to give credit to Sean Odinson and John Crump News for putting this out there. Um, this is actually uh, going on in British trials right now is where this came up. A company called KA and, of course, Glock are part of these trials going on right now for the British military to get a new battle rifle. And this is part of that trial that's being, uh, you know, that's taking place right now. The designation for this particular AR-15 by Glock is the GR-115F. So, will we see this stateside? You know... Yes. I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. Just because you're seeing this involved in trials in Britain right now does not mean there's going to be a commercial designation for it, but there will be. There's a lot of money to be made on the civilian market, and I can't imagine they do this um, and not expect it to roll over into generating revenue on the commercial side. So while you may not see it immediately, you will at some point see the state side. I feel like I can, I can go on the record and say that with confidence to know that one day we will see this over here. But uh, interesting to see this nonetheless. Uh, again, I'm not opposed to it at all. I mean, I'm okay with anybody, especially with a big name like Glock getting into this with the amount of funding behind Glock, the amount of money that they make, the amount of interest that they generate. I think this is a good thing for the gun industry, uh, more specifically the AR-15 platform, because I do feel like that allows for more research and development. It may be some areas that they actually improve on. Um, you know, maybe with that type of funding behind them, they tweak a little thing here. They, they introduce a new piece of technology there. Granted, they haven't really done that with their pistol, but they think that the pistol is perfect the way it is. The good thing is the angle of the grip seems to be a little bit better of an angle than the grip is on their pistol. And that's the only downside that I have ever had to that pistol by Glock is that freaking grip angle. So I am happy to see that there is a more appropriate angle to this particular AR-15 than what Glock already has on its current handguns. Just making fun here, guys. No, no reason for the Glock guys to burn my house down over this. <laughs> Enjoy this. Do with it what you want. More to come on that. I'm sorry. I thought this was America.